Mike the Reptile Guy's here. Hi, Mike. Hi. Yeah, you can step into the shot just oh, so no. they can see you. There. Have we hey, just look. met Riaz? You, you actually, yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a real spider, people. Tarantula. Yes. Tarantula. Tarantula. Tarantula, sorry. Don't, don't you don't want to get her, her angry. So. Right. We're and she's gonna right. You, you oh. were thinking, you were thinking head, but it's gonna go on the face. Oh. They don't hold on to skin or hair very well, so that's why we have the glasses. It yeah, tickles. And a there bit, we like. go. Oh, really? See, see she's trying to hold on to the hair. She can't grip it, so that's why we have to put it on the face. And this is where you lose a lot of viewers. Yeah. yeah hold on. <laughs> so the hold on. pet lover show is happening at the Trade X. Mike's got all kinds of reptiles. Oh Ooh, th those are claws right there, right, yep. Mike? Two at the end of each leg, so that's what you're really feeling. There's a little claws digging in. Nice Every one. once in a while she gets a really good one in there, but you seem okay right now. Okay, that is just... You are so missing I'm out. not touching that. Yeah? <laughs> no, but I will touch the tortoise and the iguana. Okay. You can have snakes and spiders. That's all you. It's like I, an eye patch I wish I, I had a heart monitor on right now. I'm going to stay on the good side of this tarantula. Okay. What's the name again? Um? Gretchen. 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 Oh, he was saying it was venom before. Venom Gretchen's killer. Gretchen's a lot better. <laughs> We're going to talk to Turbo. Hey, Tur Tur Turbo's very calm, too, which is nice. Not I was told immediately he will, not, he will not bite you under any circumstances. I'm like, okay. Mike the Reptile Guy's here with uh, Simon. You're going to take us through some reptiles and what's coming up with the Pet Lover Show uh, this upcoming weekend. Yep. Very chill, like the energy so yeah, far. He doesn't do much, he just kind of sits there. These beautiful reptiles. There's Iguanas, no reason to be afraid of right? either one of these guys. Look right at Elvis. Now. Hey Elvis. He's he's got active. As soon as the camera came on, he starts moving so around. That was good timing. Star. So you well. need to catch him. Okay. So, do so I just... just use your hands and, and support his legs. He will okay. most likely climb right up to your shoulder. And he's what we call a rough neck monitor lizard. So monitor lizards are you know same thing as Komodo dragons, things like that. Um, he's obviously just a smaller version, and he's he'll fine. get about three or four Whoa. feet long. That's what he does. He'll do, yeah, I know he does that thing. He climbs up and he falls down. So we'll take him off here. All right. And then, oh, he's, he's got a good grip. <laughs> he's got a very good grip. There we go. So we'll put him back here. So rough neck Whoa. monitor, about three or four feet long. Um, so these are one of those monitors that's not a bad pet because they don't get super huge. One of the ones that is a problem is little iguanas like this one here. Mm -hmm. So if you want to hold this one, his name is not Popcorn. Not typical, Popcorn. Um, popcorn. It's a, don't even ask. Its name is not Popcorn. Okay. Uh, so uh, typical green iguana, uh, they start out nice and small like this, which is an attraction for people. People like them at this size. Yeah. The problem is they get large and a lot of times they get a little bit more aggressive. So we're going to bring out a bigger one right now to show you what these guys do turn into. Okay. Okay. So right now, nice, friendly, good little guy. Maybe so Simon's got this one here. Here. Mm -hmm. Now, no, depending let's... on his mood, he may or may not be a bit of a, oh, a jerk smokes. this morning. So, this Hi. is Slash. You can give us a nice head bob. Okay, so not There's popcorn grows that big? Yeah, and bigger. So, this Slash is about four, four and a half feet long. They wow. can get up to and sometimes over six feet long. Yeah. So, he's a very nice, impressive iguana, but he is a little bit of a jerk. When we got him in, he actually bit his old owner in the back of the hand, and the guy can get 13 Whoa. stitches in the back of his hand. So, he's trying to whip me right now. Yeah. So, that's why I hold on to him, and nobody else Good gets, plan, to, Mike. gets Good to hold plan. him. Nobody knows it, and I don't know if you to see with the camera or not, but if you look in the mouth, they do have razor sharp teeth in there. If you look on the bottom jaw, oh wow, you see them in there, yeah. razor sharp oh, teeth in there. Um, so you do not want to get bitten by an iguana. So these ones are not <laughs> so much good pets, and those are some things we're going to be talking about at the pet lover show when we're there. Uh, we're doing little seminars on stage, and we're going to be talking about good pets versus bad pets. Yeah, because um, there are a lot of reptiles that make awesome yeah, pets, but you need to know how to look after them properly. But iguanas, because of their temperament and their size, we don't ever recommend these guys. Oh, don't okay. be afraid. It's okay. okay. <laughs> don't be afraid. He's just going to climb in your hair and all okay. that stuff. Just yeah. Yes. Let, him, let him do his thing. <laughs> so I'll put, okay. uh, we'll put Slash back he in right now. That is amazing. He's, there we go. You stay down there. Brady, you better be watching, buddy. I'm doing this for you, pal. Where are as, you? As long as he doesn't go to the bathroom. That's the only thing we, we Oh, worry yeah. About. He's only done it once. It wouldn't be, He's the, only it ever would not be the first time I'd been peed on. I'm going to tell you that. I have a seven-year-old child. Oh, my God. It's a nice, it's, it's good thing we clipped his claws last night. The thing with these guys here, uh, these are kind of an arboreal lizard, so they actually like to they climb in the trees a lot. Yeah. So they do have really short sharp claws, same with the iguanas. So the last night I clipped their claws so we don't bleed while we hold them. You totally uh, knew this was going to happen, Mike, didn't you? Well, I mean, I, I this pretty, is only I pretty the you about the shoulder. He's going to walk about the head. on your shoulder. I got, well, okay, I've got him. Higher. You're not tall enough. He wants to be up as high as he can. So he's I have an there. iguana in so my in hair, hair people. So we're going to bring out, let's let's take this one off here. Okay. This wasn't the part she was afraid of. Your, your hair way. person is going to All of a sudden I'm feeling David Letterman's pain. That's a good go. look. That's a good look. All right. Then you got that one there. You brought some snakes too. Yeah, right? actually, how about you grab the one with the red there? The, okay. red, the red lid there? You just bring that one over here. All right. So, <laughs> the original plan, because someone was a little bit afraid really to enough. hold I'm snakes. Go visit the tortoise, yeah. maybe? So, you, no, you got to stay over here. You got to stay in here. Yeah, no, There's no, no right chicken egg on this one. So, this here is what we call a handful of snakes. Yeah. So, if you can hold two hands out for me. Sure. And just maybe over the table, just in case one takes a little dive. 
So this year oh. is a little pile of boas. Um, last year we had a, a boa turn into our rescue and the guy said he thought she might be pregnant. So we got her in, we had her isolated upstairs um, and a couple months later she actually had 21 live babies. Wow. So these are some of the ones we still have um, because boas have live babies whereas pythons lay eggs. Um, so sometimes we get, uh, we get pythons in. We even had a tortoise the other day that laid eggs. She laid 26 eggs. They were infertile eggs. Uh, when we have animals that lay eggs, we take the eggs and feed them out to our lizards. Mm -hmm. These guys don't lay the eggs. They have live babies. So when we got pregnant ones in, we end up with these that we have to try to find homes for. And again, we'll be talking about that at Pet Lover Show as well, um, about how a lot of breeders like to breed things and maybe shouldn't breed things. There's a lot of responsible breeders out there, but there's some that just, you know, should maybe stay away from it so we don't end up with things like this. Ew, we have to find these, homes these for. are great too. So I'll hold a small one. I heard there's yeah, a big no, one though. You are Where's gonna come over here. One? So right, come right in. Close I know I right agree to do this, but I'm not. No, can I get the little ones want, away from me? Do no, no, <laughs> no. I'm good. Okay, now Simon's got the big oh one. Oh my god! Oh my Ooh. god! Okay, that one's got some weight to it. Seriously? Yeah, it's going on your shoulders. Okay, I'm totally trusting you. There we go. We've all seen those shoulders like when good pets go bad. So you're just gonna just stand there. Just do absolutely nothing. You stand there. Now freckles is a bigger version of the babies. This is actually about the size of the mother of these babies. But freckles is only about half grown. A full grown, really big boa can get up to it sometimes over 12 feet long. I saw a big one. Medicine had a few months ago, it was just about 13 feet long. That's a really big snake. Uh, so, this weekend, we're going to have a lot of these at the Pet Lover Show because we have an education center in Abbotsford. So, we are we have a, a ton of animals like this on display, but we're going to have a big display at the Pet Lover Show this weekend. Um, and we're going to have probably, I'd say probably 20 or 30 animals there. Um, what do you feed this thing? She eats rabbits and rats. And news anchors too? Or? Well, no. she's a, she okay, can like maybe okay, kill her, okay, but not so okay. much eat her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she does it with her tail when she does that little holding on thing. It's because yeah. she wants to feel secure, so she okay. likes to grip on I I want her to feel secure. Okay, Simon, go yeah. do the handoff. I really what want her to be what, secure. What else do we have? And then we can talk about Turbo here. So Turbo, um, Sulcata Tortoise, these guys here, he's not full grown. So we don't ever recommend these guys as a pet. Um, full grown, this tortoise can get up to about 200 pounds. Right now, he's only about 100 pounds. So he's going to get much, much larger only than he Only half right here. Yeah, he's only about half grown right now. Have you forgotten about me holding <laughs> onto this snake? Yeah, we, we moved on. We moved on. I you thought can come I was, join us. You're doing a she great job, move. Joey. <laughs> okay, I, I just don't want to scare this. It's okay. You can move. She's thing. not going to do anything. You're okay. good to come over here. Just. There we go. Now you were saying um, with with the shell of this tortoise, yeah, they feel like, everything. They do feel everything. So the shell is bone. It's their spine and their ribs. It is part of their shell. So that TV show Franklin, the kids show where the turtle comes out of the shell, that is not true at all. Um, their shell is part of them. Uh, the top layer of the shell is keratin, so same as our fingernails, and they do have blood vessels and nerves running through the entire shell. So sometimes when we're doing a talk about them, we'll touch like right here, and they'll flinch and pull in because they feel everything. We had one that had holes drilled in its shell and a handle installed onto it, and when you drill the holes into the shell, even on the outer edges here, it does bleed and they do feel it. Wow. Right? Okay. And then with picking him up by the handle, it's essentially like picking him up by four of his ribs. So we don't ever recommend doing that. Um, so, I mean, they're, they're amazing animals, but this is something that is not a household pet. They start out cute and about this big when you see them in stores, but then they get this size and even up to 200 pounds, and that's just the burl through your walls, right? Uh, and a lot of people don't feed them properly. There's a lot of pet stores out there that will say, get a tortoise like this, feed it lots of fruit, lots of veggies. That will kill your tortoise over time because your diet is grass. It's okay. hay, grass, things like that. Um, so we're to know, time here. <laughs> <laughs> we're, to, we're to time. Okay, 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 okay. Great okay, information okay. here. Pet Lover I'm Show done. at the Trade X no. this weekend. Yep. Uh, Mike and Simon, thanks for coming by, guys. A necklace. You did a terrific oh, job. so strong. I'll leave her until the end of the segment. Okay. There we go. Jim, we'll do the next newscast with you. We've got your time. Yeah, you can sit down and we'll put all the snakes on the table. You can do that. The reptile guy. I used to really like you, Mike. .ca as well. You can find out more. She did great. It's really fascinating. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little She's bit really scared cool. right now. Yeah. What, what's her name again? Freckles. Okay, Brady. I'm holding Freckles. There you go. Mommy did it. Tell all your friends at school. <laughs> Now this you need to hold cool. all the baby ones in your hand at the no, same time. No, no, thank you very much. Can now you get her before she goes up near my face? Yeah, now we, we can, can take, take her off. Okay, it's time there for news. Bye. Do you want a big one? Sure. I'll put her up on your we'll shoulders there. More to come here on BT. Stay tuned. What's Man. the weight again? Oh, she's like maybe 20, 25 pounds. She's not very heavy. How uh, how quick till they shed? Uh, well, she just shed, what, like two, three weeks ago, something like that. Um, so she's not going to shed for a while.